Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cool Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Wow, do I got a treat for you. Um, a little backstory first. Uh, my client that came from out of state saw this house about a month ago. Wasn't quite his taste, but I thought to myself, wow, this is a gorgeous house. I really want to get this videoed. And guess what? They just dropped the price on it and I've got an opportunity to do a video tour of it. This house really is built around the idea of being an old English manor. And I've lived in New York for a while, so I absolutely love this style. I cannot wait to show this house off. It is, believe it or not, 5,346 square feet, a four bedroom, three bath house with two studies, and it's actually on two acres out in the community of Copper Ridge in New Braunfels, Texas. I can't believe the house is still on the market, especially when they just dropped the price to, stand by, $1,275,000. So that's a great bargain for all you get. So yeah, let's go ahead and start the tour right out front. All right, this is a beautiful home. The outside is gorgeous, but it doesn't do what's justice for the inside because it really does give that English manor feel once you go inside. Uh, another thing I like about this, ooh, almost died there, is the location. If you see right through the trees there, that is the community pool, and you're really just right down the street from it. So if you're running out of uh, beer, you could just come up here and get another six pack of beer. But also want to point out the landscaping. They've probably got like $200,000 or more in the landscaping of this house. And uh, that's one of the benefits of buying a pre-existing home in these luxury communities is all this stuff is already done. I really love this uh, circle driveway that they got. I mean, they went all out, and uh, for the price, this is such a huge bang for the buck. Uh, Copper Ridge is a gated community, does have a gate guard in it, but the HOA fees are about $1,000 a year. But you got this beautiful metal roof on it, large garage, we're going to showcase that in a little bit. But yeah, let's head on inside, and we're going to show off this house a little bit more. Let me cut through here. Nice little sage there. But uh, I love this house so much. And like I said, when my client threw it through, I'm like, I've got to video this house. So I'm glad personally that it's still on the market, but I can definitely help bring any buyers who sees this house and this fits what they're looking for. Well, as a buying agent, I can help you out with that. All right, love this door. And as always, this part of the video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, it really does help. We do have the listing agent with us, Miss Jennifer Kabanka. Did I get that right, Kabanka? Yeah, All right, she's with Keller Williams. This is her listing, but yes, I could bring any buyer to the house. Do you have anything you wanna share about the house real quickly? Well, thank you, Jason, for coming out today and, and shooting this video, I really appreciate it. This home is just so stunning that I feel like it doesn't do it justice until you actually come in physically walk this house. And I think you would agree with that as well, right? Definitely, yeah. This, it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but it does fit a unique niche for a buyer who is looking for that whole English manor type house. But that's why we're doing these videos because we can showcase this whole house to the entire world instead of just the local community. All right, one of the things that's really nice is check out this little wine cellar type room. It's so cool. I love the little arch doorways there. And it's like perfect place to store your wine, kind of showcase. If you'd like to collect wine, you want to showcase it a little bit. But this big, big formal dining room, really nice. Love the stone wall, the beams in there. And uh, we got the acid stained concrete floor, so very low maintenance. Main living space, plenty of room in here. This is a two-story house, so there's gonna be so much more awesome stuff upstairs. But check out this kitchen. Uh, the, the people who had this house built have been living in it for a little while. Uh, Jennifer, how, what year is this house built? 20, uh, 2013. 2013, so just over 10 years ago. But yeah, they went, they spared no expense building this house. And that comes with the appliances as well. They got Wolf appliances, Sub-Zero. And you know me, I've got to do this. Absolutely love these microwaves. I know I'm a kid, but this is so awesome to be able to do that. Because if you've got that hot can of soup, you can pick it up and put it right there. No chance of it spilling on your face or burning you. So it's so cool. But all their appliances are Wolf appliances. And uh, where's the refrigerator? Okay, yep, yeah, it's hidden. We got the hidden refrigerator back here. This is going to be a big big sub-zero refrigerator 
two sides, and I was like, wow. Freezers, freezers in the drawers. And the, yeah, oh, the freezers are in the drawers. So you are not gonna run out of refrigerator space. And yes, because they have it all built in, it comes with the house. Um, once again, big wolf uh, cooktop. This is a gas community. So you got this cool little griddle thing here. So I'm wearing a pot filler. So that's always handy. And check out the view from the sink. I'm 158 gonna, bottles. 158 bottles of wine Jennifer was showcasing. Oh, Sub-Zero wine. Oh, Very cool. But yeah, beautiful porcelain sink there and really nice. I actually really like that chandelier thing above it. But yes, this is the Sub-Zero wine chiller uh, Jennifer was talking about. I have not seen a Sub-Zero wine chiller before. So yeah, that is super awesome. Of course. So that's really cool having that wine fridge right there, convenient to everything. Um, oh, I almost forgot the pantry. Uh, we don't wanna forget that because I know that, that could be a really big deal breaker for a lot of folks. So the pantry is tucked right over here by the refrigerator. Lots of extra cabinet space and storage in the pantry that you might not wanna be displayed everywhere else but tons of space in here going all the way up. So lots of room in the pantry. I just noticed this, this is really cool too. There's so many things about this house, it's hard to recognize everything, but I'm gonna do my best to show that off to you. Let's go off to the back porch area and really kind of showcase this because this house is definitely built for entertainment and you can't have a, a house in the Texas Hill Country without a gorgeous, backyard entertainment space and wow do they have it here they even got a tv back there for watching the games if you want to smoke a cigar while watching a football game you can definitely do that out here big gorgeous fireplace right on the back porch area if i can get to the light where i can see it that is really nice you got your cook space area the sun does set on like the front corner of the house so you're not going to be getting beat up by the sun uh, come five, six o'clock. All this it can be shaded area, really opening this up. They've even got the little party lights going on up here. But when I talk about the landscaping that they've done here, oh, here's a cool looking praying mantis right there. Hey, buddy. Um, rain capturing system right there. But check out this little waterfall setup that they got. That's just... It's going to create a really cool, tranquil environment to just come out here and relax. And if you are wanting to relax, you really don't want to be seeing your back neighbors. That's why it's important that this is a two-acre spot. It goes way back beyond where that fence is at. This is a really wide lot. So even if somewhere down the road, that used, that's a big branch pasture thing out there, you're never going to see your neighbors in the back. You can barely see your neighbors on the side. But this outdoor space is super cool. Love, they've got multiple entertainment spaces out here. So yeah, they, this is all done. This is a move-in ready house for a great price. I'm super excited to be able to showcase this. And hopefully one of you guys out there or one of you, somebody's out there watching this and this can be a perfect fit for you. And you reach out to me because uh, yeah, the uh, listing agent, uh, they pay, they're going to be paying my realtor fees. That agreement's already been set up. So it doesn't cost you anything if you wanted to buy, purchase a house using me as an agent. Okay, hold on to your butts because this was what really sets this house off. Check this library out. I was talking to owners and they said they always wanted a two-store library and they definitely have this set up like that. If you're a hunter or something, this would be your trophy room because you can tell they got so much space on the walls up here for everything. And I love their old desk and furniture. Got a little black powder muzzleloader rifle there and a little library thing up top. We're about to head up there too, but this is such a cool place to come hang out. You got some cigars because a room like this does make me want to have a cigar and a glass of scotch and just relax. All right, let's head up these stairs because it's super cool going up these spiral staircase. I'm going to do my best not to die on camera. This is not the only staircase in here, so don't worry about that. But this up there stair space, 
is, like I said, this house is made for entertainment. All right, we're now on the upstairs library portion. So you look down at this really cool place. Really neat having these little cute little spots. So if you wanted to have a little quiet space to go read in the house, you can just go right over there. But check this out. All the living spaces downstairs, a lot of the party spaces upstairs. Speaking of party space, you've got a big movie theater set up. Very cool. Uh, I like I like my home projector a little better. I'm a big Epson projector fan, but this is a perfect room. <coughs> Pardon me, for watching movies and just relaxing. But if you're not in the movie watching, you want to play a game of pool or anything else. Here's your big entertainment space. This is so cool. I love it so much. Lots and lots of space in here. And if you have a party room, you gotta have a bar. And they definitely have a really cool built-in bar system here. Plenty of places to show off your nice uh, glasses, your nice booze, got a wet bar, everything else you might wanna have, and even some more extra storage underneath. And I, well, the ice machine's probably not gonna come with the house, but all this other space will. And there's even more to this upstairs area. You got a guest bedroom up here. Very nice. Like I said, definitely an English, English manner feel. You got a full bathroom up here as well. Very nice. And yeah, while well, I was talking to the owners, they've lived in England for a while and that's definitely inspired their taste. So everything in this house is all about that whole old English manor feel. That's a pretty cool little wash basin. I haven't checked this out yet, so let me see. This is a closet and a pretty good sized closet as well. All right, and uh, let's see if there's more storage. Yep, more storage back there. So this house has plenty of storage space Plenty of places to have just a really good time at. And there's the kind of your view from down below. You got your poker table. I mean, there's just so much I like. If I lived here, I'd be up in this room all the time. All right, here's the, okay, here's something else I want to showcase off. There's a couple of attic access. This is definitely your Texas basement as access. So we don't do a lot of basements in Texas. So having an attic space with all this storage is really handy. They went nuts with the spray foam. Uh, it's about 90 degrees outside right now. There's no air conditioning in here, but it's very comfortable. And what that does is keep your utility bills down really low uh, with all this spray foam up here. So if you're watching my video on the West Coast and you're worried about uh, utility cost you don't have to stress about that here it's gonna be fairly low um, and also they are considering uh, changing the colors of these walls um, they're probably gonna be painting in about two weeks so if you're watching this video as I'm doing this it is uh, late September 2024 if you're interested in this house please reach out to me sooner than later because you might be able to pick what color are your walls you're talking about? They're trying to decide between alabaster white and agreeable gray. So, but here's the laundry room. Really nice, convenient. You even get an outdoor thing and a dog door. So if you got a little fur baby, you don't have to worry about putting a door in because you've already got one. All right. I believe this is going to a garage. Yep. This is that big, it looks like a kind of four car garage here. They're gonna say three, but if you wanted to, you could put four into here. Lots and lots of space, plenty of room in this garage. So yeah, really nice size garage here. All right, that's gonna be just a storage closet. There's the stairs we just went down. So all that's left now is to go over to this other wing of the house and we're going to showcase the master bedroom i'm going to hit that last but we got some other bedrooms downstairs we got to hit first so like i said it's really nice having all the living space in the downstairs area all right let's check out these bedrooms 
We've got, oh wow. <coughs> now I showed you that big fancy office. This is definitely being used as another office slash crafts room. I got some neat stuff. I always like getting to know people by what stuff they have. But yeah, this is a really good size office in this back corner. Lots and lots of windows, tall doors. Then we got another room right here that they're using as their exercise room. Plenty of space for that. Let's see the size of this closet. Oh, remember a lot of people are still living here, but yeah, that's a good size closet. All right, now we're heading to the master bedroom. So if you're still with me, I definitely appreciate you guys watching these videos, these larger houses. Remember this is over 5,000 square feet. It's gonna take a little while to video. All right, here is your downstairs bathroom with a shower. That's a really cool little shower there. Plenty of space in here. Like the little lighting up there. All right, and we've got another bedroom. Well, here's the master bedroom. So good size master bedroom. We got the tray ceilings up there. And then going right in from the master bedroom to the master bath. We got a big giant soaking tub as kind of the centerpiece on here. So if you wanted to have your glass of wine and a bubble bath, you can definitely do that. If you want to put a TV up there, you could probably do that as well. All right, we've got plenty of spaces in here. Before I go show off the shower, because that's where, caught you. <laughs> that, that's where the listing agent was hiding at. <laughs> you don't, you can't scare me. <laughs> All right, we got a really good size closet in here. Lots and lots of space. I really like that a lot. All right, now that they're out of trying to scare me from the, the bathroom shower, there's your water closet. Plenty of space in there. You're not gonna feel crowded at all, but you do have your, uh, um, uh, kind of called the wash, car wash shower, could go in one way and out the other. Big shower head up top, very convenient. Built-in uh, trays for your shampoo, really nicely done. So I do like this a lot. Like I said, you got your dual vanities on both sides as well. All right, just so there's just so much, as you can tell, there's just so much things I like about this house. And when you come around and then pump your back out into the main dining room space and the living room space. So yeah, if you're considering moving to the Texas Hill Country and you like this English manor style, definitely reach out to me uh because this is a really cool house and remember the asking price is now one million two seventy five very cool place all right before i do my little wrap-up spill uh, i gotta let you know that they are have a transferable golf club membership to the river crossing golf club so yeah if you're into golfing you're gonna have their membership being able to transfer straight to you. So that's a really big convenience. I've sold a couple in Cordillera Ranch and man, that golf club membership is a huge deal. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this gorgeous home in the Copper Ridge community in New Braunfels, Texas. If you're worried about this place being too far out in the country, it certainly is not. You're about an eight minute drive to the HEB, which is our grocery store, all the sorts of restaurants down there and easy access to I-35 and everything else in New Braunfels, Texas. So I love the location. As you can tell, I love this house. And if you like this house and may be interested in purchasing it, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my contact information will be on the final slide. And in the description box, I'm gonna have links to my website, my Calendly app. So if you wanna click that link, you can schedule a Zoom meeting with me. I'll be happy to help. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, if you know somebody who might be moving to the Texas Hill Country area, please share this video with them. I'll be happy to help. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. <laughs> Bye.